1771 to 1809. This is the Chor Revolt, Jungle, Mahal. Uprising took place by the Chor Abridge, Aboriginal tribesmen of Jungle Mahal of Midnapur district and Bankura district in West Bengal. The most significant uprising occurred in 1798 in which Durjan Singh, Zamindar of Raipur, led a violent revolt along with his 1500 Chor followers against the British. 1827 to 1862, Sambhalpur Revolt. So this was in Odisha. So we surrender Sai, a district direct descendant from, uh, if you can read this, 1871 is a Kuka movement. So a brief narrative of the Kuka set with some account of Ram Singh of Heni. In 1870, the Namdhari Sikh started the Kuka revolution, revolting against the British and seeking to protect the cows from slaughter. So here you can read the Kuka movement in Punjab. 1897, Chapekar Brothers, Bombay Plague it talks about. So the brothers, Damodar, Balkrishna and Vasudev Chapekar, who shot at W.C. Rand, ICS chairman of the Special Plague Committee in 1897. Because Rand was appointed as Plague Commissioner he misused his post and looted innocent Indians and humiliated women. So this is Maharashtra, Chapekar Brothers. These are known and lesser known freedom struggles. Starting with the West Bengal Sanyasi Rebellion, then Poligar Resistance of Andhra Pradesh, then Palika Rebellion of Odisha, then Coal Rebellion, Charkhand, Kond Rebellion, Odisha, Amar, Sulia Movement, Karnatak, Kond Rebellion, Odisha again, then Santhal Rebellion, Charkhand, Singh, Bo Singh Sahib Ganj, that is, of course, that time it was Bihar. Then you have Kond Rebellion, Ganjam, Odisha, First War of Independence. 1857, Madhya Pradesh, Amroha Uprising, UP, and 1857, Battle of Kakra, 1858, Uttar Pradesh, Indigo Re Revolt, 1858-59, West Bengal, 24 Parganas, then Indigo Revolution, West Bengal, 1859, Battle of Aberdeen, that is Andaman and Nicobar Islands, 1859. Then you have the Gond Rebellion, Adilabad, Telangana, in 1853. In 1860, you have Ramji Gond, Insurrection, Nirmal, 1860, Telangana, Guri Incident, 1861, Nagaon, Assam, then Raj Mills, 1869, Govindapur, Assam, then you have Kuka Movement, Ludhiana, Punjab, 1871, and you have Nyeshi Revolt, 1872, Arunanchal Pradesh. So you look at these, shown all over on the map of India. Here we have the Munda Revolt of 1899. And this is the, in 1913, the Gadar Party. The Gadar Party, initially named the Pacific Coast Hindustan Association, was formed on 15 July 1913 in the United States. So 1910, Howrah, 
Sibapur conspiracy case. Eman Roy, you have Jatindranath Mukherjee. This case refers to the arrest and trials of 47 Bengali Indian nationalists of the Anushalan Samiti that followed in the wake of the murder of Inspector Shamsul Alam on 24th January 20, 1910 in Calcutta. 1912 is the Delhi-Lahore conspiracy case. So here it is. Basant Kumar Bispas in Lahore he became a member of a revolutionary party and got actively involved in nationalist activities. Raj Bihari Bose was his mentor. He was charged with conspiracy to kill Lord Hardinge, also accused of throwing a bomb in Lawrence Garden, Lahore. He was sentenced, sentenced to transportation for life on 5th October 1915, Delhi, Lahore conspiracy case later on it was enhanced to capital punishment he was hanged on 11th may 1915 so here we have sri raj bihari bose 1917 is the champaran satyagraha so we have a contemporary uh, that's painting shows cutting of the plant in an indigo farm by the farmers. Here you have Gandhiji and sub-inspector Kurban Ali in Champaran. This is a picture of Rajendra Prasad. This is the Hazari Mal's Dharamsala in Betia, where Gandhiji stayed during the Champaran Satyagraha. That's a non-cooperation movement of 1920. You have request of Sir Rabindranath Tagore that he may be relieved of his title of knighthood in view of the policy followed by government in dealing with the recent troubles in Punjab. And this is where the non-cooperation movement was launched in the wake of the series of events, including the Jallianwala Bagh massacre, as you can see this. The non-cooperation movement created a new wave of patriotism in the country and put the idea of Swadeshi at the forefront. 1925 Kakori conspiracy case. This was a case of a trade robbery that occurred near Kakori in Uttar Pradesh. The attack was led by the youth of the Hindustan Republican Association, later renamed Hindustan Socialist Republican Association including Ram Prasad Bismil, Ashfa Kuala Khan, Chandra Shekhar Azad, Rajendra Lehavi, Thakur Roshan Singh and others. So this is what it is. This is 1926 to 31, 1931, Nau Jawan Bharat Sabha. It was organized by the collective efforts of Bhagat Singh, Sukhdev, 18 Bhagwati Charan Bora, and Comrade Ram Krishna. So, this is how they've shown it. So the aim and the objective of the Dajavan Bharat Sabha was to establish a free republic of workers and peasants in India. So 
So Bhagat Singh Ji, a brave son of the brave family of Talwars and Pakhtun, Pathan. He shot at the Punjab governor during university convocation in Lahore. He was sentenced to death and hanged on 9th June 1931. Kirti Kisan Sabha. So Kirti, the most disquieting features is the recent tendency of the disloyal Sikh elements in Shanghai to indulge in violent and objectionable speeches of a distinctly communistic nature. This was it, Baba Vasakha Singh. After some time, Harjab Singh also joined the movement. He was, according to government papers, a notorious Gadar emissary under whose direction the Sabha suddenly changed its tactics and emerged into the open with a definite constitution and program. It was in furtherance of this new policy that an openly inflammatory Gurmukhi weekly Mazdoor Kisan was also started. 1930 civil disobedience, the great march for liberty begins. Civil disobedience movement was a landmark in the Indian nationalist movement and is credited for paving the way for freedom in India as it spread to urban areas and witnessed the participation of women and people belonging to lower castes. So here we have everybody join this. We've studied this in our textbooks too. Gandhiji breaks salt laws, Dandi 6th April 19. 1922 to 1924, Rampa Rebellion. So this is it. After the passing of the 1882 Madras Forest Act, its restrictions on free movement of tribal people and the forest prevented them from engaging in their traditional podu agricultural system which involves shifting cultivation. So look at this. The first report as to the nature of this outbreak was conveyed to us in the Madras government's letter dated 16 September 1922. So this is a the act empowered the British government to declare any land covered with trees as a government forest and made rules to manage it. So the present rebellion differs from the other outbreaks in that it was organized and led by plainsman Elyori Sriram Razu and not by a hillman. So he was this. The Razu is next heard in a in connection with the alarm of Fituri, the rebellion will go down to posterity as Rozu Fituri. So he was captured, tied to a tree, and summar summarily executed by a firing squad. He held extraordinary views as extraordinary influence over the hill people. 1930, Chittagong Revolution. This was an attempt by the revolutionaries to raid the police armory and the auxiliary forces armory from Chittagong, now in Bangladesh, led by Surya Sen. So that's Surya Sen. So the Lewis gun, uh, the way, uh, Sen was brutally tortured by the police before he was hanged. So 1930, we have the Har Eka movement. Hepu Jebonang established the 
Hiraka, religious movement, and declared himself to be the Messiah King of the Nagas. We are free people. The white men should not rule over us. In 1931, the British arrested and hanged Jadonang. After this, Gadin Liu led the Hiraka movement. In 1927, at the age of 13, Gadin Liu, along with her cousin Hepu Jadonang, joined the Hiraka movement. A girl of 19 years was arrested. This is Rani. In the Naga Hills, Shilad district, her name is Gindalo Rani. We called her Gindalo Rani. belonging to the kabol kaboy clan and had been educated in a mission school during the political disturbance she was arrested and sentenced to transportation for life nehru described her as a daughter of the hills now hiraka was a social religious movement that arose in the 1920s in the Zeliang Grong territory Hiraka which literally means pure is a monotheistic religion where the followers worship Tinkau Ragwang So 1902 Anushilan Samiti was one of the secret revolutionary organization operating in Bengal in the first quarter of the uh, 20th century as you see The Samiti was inspired by the thought speeches and writings of Swami Vivekanand and influenced by Bakim Chandra Chatterjee's Anand Mat. And Aurobindo Ghosh and Bipin Chandra Pal began began a Bengali nationalist weekly called Jugantar. So this was it Jugantar. Uh, Jugantar Patrika was a Bengali revolutionary newspaper founded in 1906 in Calcutta by Barendra Kumar Ghosh, Abhinash Bhattacharya, and Bhupendra Nath Datta. Datta. So this is what it is. The main objective of all this was to throw off the yoke of foreign oppression. So in 1908, Alipur bomb case. Satyendranath, you can see, uh, Bose's revolver. You have that. Then you have Barendra Ghosh, Aurobindo Ghosh. They were all members of the Anushilan Anushilan Samiti in Calcutta. revolutionaries who threw the bomb were Raful Chakki and Khudiram Bose committed suicide while a Bose while Bose then only 18 of age was caught and sentenced to death by hanging so this is Khudiram Bose the appellants who were found guilty have been convicted of one of the most serious offenses against the state and that they conspired to wage war against the king it was written the news bid me farewell for once mother i shall return the people of india will see how i sip on the news how i slip on the news with a smile over my face he wrote with a crude bomb in hand i was standing by the roadside and i bid to assassinate the district judge we ended up killing another englishman bid me farewell for once mother i shall return on saturday morning after 10 o'clock the courtroom was bursting with people oh mother abiram was to be sent to andamans and khudiram to be hanged bid me farewell for once mother i shall return you will still have your 30 crore and 12 lakh sons and daughters make me your make your home with them oh mother let the birds brides be your hands maidens let brides be your hand maidens bid me farewell for once mother i shall return Ten months, ten days. Hence, I shall be born to your sister. If then you fail to recognize me, look for the noose round my neck. Bid me farewell.
once mother I shall return. Baba Sohan Singh Bhakna. So this is Gadar Party of 1913. The Gadar Party initially named the Pacific Coast. Hindustan Association was formed on 15 July 1913 in the United States. So this is the group photograph of 1914 to 15 Gadrites after their release. The Gadar Party found a large support base among Indian expatriates living in the United States, Canada, East Africa and Asia. So this is the photograph. In this connection, I would add that on several occasions, members of the Gadar Party have used passports to which they were not entitled and there is a market for passport reports to, to have been lost. So this is it. Return to India of the Indian immigrants of the SS. Koma Gata Maru. Koma Gata Maru, that who were refused admission into the British Columbia under the Canadian immigration laws. So these were the ones.